Hello everyone, my name is Hilda and welcome back to my channel. So my birthday was on July 24th, which is yesterday as I filmed this, obviously not as this goes up. Um, so I just wanted to share some things I got for my birthday. So first up, this is amazing, amazing, truly amazing papier-mâché Sam from Trick or Treat that my friend Valentin made for me and I love him so, so much. He is so cool. He's completely handmade and so unique and um, Trick or Treat is one of my all-time favorite movies. So I obviously love this little guy. Let's put him here safely so nothing happens to him. And my husband, Bert, got me a few fountain pens and two of these are Twisbees and one is a sailor. Um, this is not an expensive sailor, just so you know. This is the uh, um, High Ace Neo Calligraphy one in uh, 2.0. Um, I also have it in uh, 1.5 and 1.0. Um, they look exactly the same other than the nib. But I bought those two myself, so they have no business being here. Um, and yeah, as you can see, it has a calligraphy nib. It is currently out of ink. I need to re-ink it. But um, I have some, if it's full, diamine um, eclipse in here, which I love. And I will refill it after this video. Oh, these two guys, they can hold so much ink. They're not going to be out forever, for ages. Um, Eventually, I'm gonna have to refill them, but this is a Twist B Go, but uh, unsurprising, a B nib. And uh, yeah, I love it. It's um, very comfortable to write with, holds a lot of ink, has this fun spring uh, filler system, and um, this has some Diamine ex Espresso in it. And then the last one, it, it is not the 580 that was just released, by the way. This is the. I need to put it shut again. This is the um, Twisby VAC um, 700R in Iris, the limited edition one. And um, this is not blood that's inside, by the way. It's uh, Monteverde Copper Noir. And uh, yeah, it's just a really cool pen. As you can see, even the nib is a rainbow. It's beautiful. It's a little finicky because it's a vacuum filler and that's like its own system altogether. But I like it a lot. Um, I was warned against it that it's clunky and heavy, but no, I mean, I have no problems writing with this guy. I feel it's very, very comfortable and um, I, I will not be getting the Diamond 580 version um, in, in Iris, in a rainbow, so to speak, because I have the fact and I, I love it and I really don't need it. Plus, I'm holding off buying another Echo. Um, till the glow in the dark comes out because I really want the glow in the dark. Uh, I don't need more rainbow pens, even though I love them. But you know, one iris version from Twisby is enough. Then my neighbor Yessie got me this box of things, and I know what's in it, but um, I repackaged it because she did it so nicely. I, I, she, she probably did it nicer than I can, but um, yeah, I'm just gonna show you what I got. So kind. Thank you to everyone who wished me a happy birthday and sent me stuff and gave me stuff, by the way. But yeah, this is flipping amazing. This is a pen holder. I mean, it holds pens or brushes, but mostly pens. And it's an octopus, so that makes it extra, extra amazing. And uh, yeah, it's just super practical. It's cool in pictures and it's a practical item. And, and it's an octopus. I mean, there's literally nothing not to love about this guy. He's amazing and I adore him. Then she got me these Sam earrings. I mean, ah, all the trick or treat stuff. I'm so happy, but uh, I love these. And now I can finally wear them. Hooray, which I shall, because amaze balls. And then the last thing is also a trick or treat item. It's a bag with Sam's face. Let me zoom you out. Um, excuse the mess on my desk, but this is what it looks like. How amazing is this? And the design is the same on both sides, but uh, I love it. I love everything. Thank you, Yessie. 
And next I have um, a bunch of small presents from Jess and Charlotte. And um, they're not necessarily in their original packaging anymore because I've opened them when I received them. As There's also a present from our friend Kate. Uh, thank you guys, by the way. And, and so, yeah, I'm just going to take stuff out and, and as I find them because that's going to be easiest. So first I have these amazing zero earrings from Isle of Crafty that my friend Jess got the got me and I love them so much they are so so adorable and I love zero so uh yeah I'm keeping all of these bags all of them yeah but I I love zero he's one of my favorite Disney characters and this is also from Jess I mean look at how awesome that wax seal is that is so cool. I have never had this good of a result mixing all my wax seals. <laughs> um, she got me the uh, Mischief Edition, the Magical Mischief Edition from um, uh, Making of Harry Potter, the Warner Brothers Studio Tour. And look at how cool the art is. Um, I wish I had been able to go because, uh, you know, Weasley Swizzard Weezes. Um, thankfully, it wasn't completely Weasley Swizzard Weezes themed. Otherwise, I would have been very sad if I hadn't been able to go. Um, but yeah, look at how nice the art is of this thing. I love it. And it was kind of like a scavenger hunt where you could collect stamps, apparently. That would have been so up my alley. I wonder, do they do, they do this all the time? Like where you can collect stamps? Fun fact, at one point, I was in Rome, in Italy, and we went to an um, exhibit about Hokusai. And uh, you could collect stamps, and I collected all of them. I think it was mostly for children, but that did not stop me. But yeah, I, I shall put this on my Weasley Wizard Weasel's shelf. And then she got me a super cute birthday card. I mean, like, magical birthday. Love it. Next item from the bag. This is also from Jess. Um, she had taped them all shut with this beautiful rainbow washi, but I've very carefully taken off all the washi and put it in. I cannot reach. Let me grab it. This guy. This is um, a sticker release paper insert from a journal this which is actually way better than the sticker release paper from um, Traveler's Company because this has specific paper and they switch up. So this is specific for washi and this is like general stickers and again, specific to washi and general stickers because you know, the general sticker paper does not always hold washi tape. So, um, cause this is the stuff you'll see in a Traveler's Notebook uh, sticker release paper inserts. This you won't see in there, and this is way, way, way better. So uh, as you can see, I've been mostly using the, um, the washi ones. But yeah, this is some of the tape. Well, all of the tape I've saved from just this packaging, and I will totally reuse it because I love it. But this I also love. It's Godric. It's a Godric Gryffindor ornament, and it is lenticular, and it's the chocolate frog card. And it's just super awesome and I can hang it up year round, which I probably will because I'm pretty sure, it, let me try. Oh no, it does not fit on my backboard, but uh, I, I will find space for this because I love it. It's so cool. Thank you, Jess. And this will go in my ephemera because uh, oh, you, you better be sure that I will reuse all of them. And if you saw my uh, London, um, TN flip through, you know that I do recycle all of them. And you can already tell that this is also from Jess. This is the most amazing washi tape. It's uh, an, an autumnal lash. Can I speak? Of course not. This is an autumnal washi tape. It's a cute washi tape by Lula Rocks. I think I may have to go and get my. Halloween journal so you can properly see the tape in all its glory. So let me grab that. I feel like I'm very disorganized as per usual, but yeah, this is uh, just a baggie from Dylan and Camilla where my Halloween journal lives in. 
And uh, here you go. Here it is in all its glory. This is like the most decorated journal I have. And I need to sort out the inserts because I don't even know what's going on here. They kind of like flap up. See? <laughs> see what I mean? They just shift around a lot. And of course, in its defense, it's hard to go over all of the other ones. So there is that because I have a lot in here. Here are all my Halloween was washy swatches. Words are really hard today. And um, I'm just gonna swatch it here and uh, add it. And um, here we go. I love how it's like this, this kind of peachy color and uh, with the gold foil. I had actually been eyeing this on Etsy, but I was worried about having to pay customs. So that's why I didn't get it. So it was really awesome that Jess got it for me. It would be really awesome because uh, I love it. This is also from Jess and it's a super cute Kiki and Gigi brooch. I mean, look at it. It just looks like this in the back, but uh, I love it. It's super, super, super cute. I love Kiki's Delivery Service. It's one of my favorite Studio Ghibli films. And then, what is this? This is all stuff I got from Charlotte and she told me that she got this from a girl she's in games club with who um, does all of these things. Uh, let me check the name because I have bad eyesight. So this is by MZ Bear Designs. And look, it's a bat wreath. Who doesn't like bat wreaths? I know I do. It's got trick or treat stickers, which are awesome. Then there's these guys. I think these are like Halloween gnomes. Then it's got all sorts of fun, happy Halloween ones. Oh, I'm, need, I'm going to need to open this so uh, I can properly show you. These are all her details. A loyalty card. Oh, should give that to Charlotte. She's the one shopping there. And then there's uh, all these fun things. And you can, uh, can you move these? I'm not sure if the, or does it come like that? Because it kind of looks like there might be movable elements to it, but I have to investigate later. If not, it's cool as is. Oh, look at this. So cool. And then there's this trick or treat with all sorts of bats. Life starts all over again when it's get crisp in fall. Cool. And then another trick or treat one. I'm actually going to open these as well, the small ones. So we can see all of them and then I'll put them somewhere where they can all live together. I've got these uh, planner stickers, which will be super handy. And look how cute these are. I especially love the eyeballs. And this, this is just so cool. I love this. Ah, if I can in get into it, I will show you. Uh, bad eyesight is bad. I always have a lot of trouble opening these things up because I just can't see where it begins. So that's super annoying. But look at this. This is so cool. This is literally a countdown to Halloween. And this is amazing. And uh, oh, this is so cool to you. Got like little backgrounds you can use when you journal to add more um, um, texture and stuff. So yeah, um, but now I'm just su super tempted to 
do 31 days of Halloween and just use one of these each day and then make a journal spread each day? Would that be like something you guys would be interested in seeing? Because I was like planning out to do like book flip throughs and such and and random collections. Um, maybe I can do both, but I kind of feel like I'm already going to drive myself insane. And this is a card from my friend Kate, who lives in Thailand. And look how cute this is. It says best cat mom. And then there's this super cute black cat sticker, which kind of reminds me of Salem because it looks a little grumpy, with cute washi tape and this cute Instax photo of her cats, Nora and Nori. I mean, how adorable. And then she sent me these super cute Mickey Mouse stickers from Daiso. I love these. This will be super cool for when I go to Disneyland Paris again. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna open them up and show them if I can without completely destroying all the packaging. I have like no opening skills whatsoever, but I got in it eventually. Close this up and set it aside. Yeah, and look how many there are. Oh my God, there's loads. I flippin' love Daiso. I wish we had Daiso in Europe so much. Well, no, mostly I wish we had Daiso in Belgium. That would be great. Everywhere should have Daiso, but yeah, let's see. Love these. They're so amazing. There's so many of them. Oh my God. I'm going to put them safely in my little leaf shaped cup, which is actually to hold my, um, my lens cap, but I have another bottle there so I can put it in there and everything will be safe and not lost. And this is just Thing. Oh, this is also from Charlotte and she actually got these for me for last year's birthday. But <laughs> when she tried to send them to me um, around Christmas, the customs, uh, customs, um, Royal Mail were like, nope, you're not allowed to send um, nail varnish in the post. So she kept them to give them to me when she saw me and uh, she did. <laughs> And these are the Honey Dukes and Nail Varnish Trio from Boots. Um, yeah, Charlotte tends to get me my birthday presents in December um, because then she can get my Christmas present in one go because that's when Boots releases all their Harry Potter products. So that's why she gets them late. But now we saw each other earlier this month in London. So she gave me stuff and it was all great. I gave her stuff as well. Um, early birthday things. So <laughs> that was good. And yeah, that was it. That is everything. Bar the Sam bag, which doesn't fit in the frame anymore. Poor Sam bag. Um, but yeah, I, I love everything I've got. I'm not gonna pull favorites on this one because, you know, they're all gifts from people that I like a lot and I love everything dearly. Um, so yeah, there's that. Let me know in the comments down below though, what was your favorite item? Or just leave a comment full stop. If you do leave a comment, please be kind. Subscribe if you want to stick around for more shenanigans in motion. Got it put a pen on here. <laughs> yeah, and hit that notification bell in case that YouTube will actually notify you when I upload a new video. Um, there will be cats as soon as I stop talking as per usual. Song of the day is Scary Monsters and Super Creeps by David Bowie. Um, yeah, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will hopefully see you in the next one. Bye!